Hello, my first graders. We are on lesson 3.12. Okay, lesson 3.12. Okay, that is page 197 in our math book. So if you're not on page 197, you want to pause, take out your math book and find that page. All right. Well, technically, we are not going to start on page 197. I'm skipping that today. So once you find page 197, we will turn the page. Okay, so we're on page 198 now. Okay, remember, if you're not there, pause, find your page, and then hit play. It says, draw a picture to solve. Mark has nine green toy cars. He has one yellow toy car. He also has five blue toy cars. How many toy cars does he have? Okay, so Mark has a lot of cars, doesn't he? He has nine green toy cars. He has a yellow toy, one yellow toy car and five blue toy cars. They wanna know how many toy cars does he have all together? So just like we've been practicing, we will be adding those three numbers together, okay? So I'm gonna make my problem. I have nine plus one plus five equals, okay? So you wanna write out your problem. So there's many ways that we can solve this. Okay, we can do our combination of numbers. Remember when we were circling our numbers and we put them together and then we counted on? But we also could draw a picture. And our problem tells us that they'd like us to draw a picture to solve. So that's what we're going to work on today. So I have nine, so that means I draw nine first. I should go back and double check and make sure I have nine. Okay. Then I have one, so I need to draw one. Then I have five, so I draw my five circles. Okay. How many do I have all together? So now I need to count them all. Well, I can count each one if I want to, or I could just say, I know that there's nine here and count on if I want to. So it's up to you. Go ahead and count all of your circles. What did you get? Did you get 15? When we count all our circle, there was 15. So how many toy cars does he have? He has 15. Now, they want us to write our problem down here, so we just fill it in, just like we always do. Nine plus one plus five equals 15. So how many toy cars does he have? He has 15. Okay. You need to pause you can if you're not if you need to catch up you can pause and then keep going all right on this page it says draw a picture to solve so for each one they want us to draw a picture so we'll be drawing our circles now they don't give us a lot of room so we might have to draw kind of small so let's look at our first problem ken put five marbles in a jar lou put in zero marbles. So zero is still a number. May put in five marbles. How many marbles did they put in the jar? So we have Ken had five, Lou had zero, May had five. They want us to know, they want to know how many all together, which means we're going to add those numbers. So let's write our problem. Five plus zero plus five equals. Okay, we used our numbers, we put them in. 
Okay. Now they want us to draw a picture. So I think we can probably fit a little picture down here or up here, but if you need a scrap piece of paper, if you feel like your circles are too big, then just pause, go get a scrap paper, and then you'll be ready to draw your circles. All right, so I'm gonna draw mine right underneath. So I'm gonna start with how many circles first? Five. This is zero. Do I draw any circles for the number zero? Of course not, right? Zero means nothing, so I have no nothing to draw. Then we have five more. Okay. How many do we have all together? So we're going to count all of our circles. Okay. How many circles? Ten. So we had five plus zero plus five equals 10, because it's just like saying five plus five, which we know at that double is 10. So how many marbles? 10 marbles. All right, the next one I am going to read to you, and then you are going to pause and solve. So let's try this, you ready? Ava has three kites. So circle our three. Lexi has three kites. Fred has five kites. How many kites do they have? All right, so boys and girls, I want you to make your plus problem, just like we did, make your plus problem. Draw your circles and find your answer. So pause. All right. If you're hitting play right now, that means that you've solved this problem. You wrote it in, you drew your picture, and you're ready. Okay, so let me put this in. So you should have had three plus three plus five equals, okay? Because we had three and three and five. Okay, then you should have had three circles for the number three, three for this three, five for the number five. When you count them all together, three plus three is six, plus five more, we had 11. So 11 kites. All right. We are going to try this one right here. I'm gonna read it to you and then you're gonna pause and you're gonna try this one on your own, okay? Al got eight books at the library. Ryan got seven books. Dee got one book. How many books do they have? All right, so remember, you're gonna put your numbers in, make your plus problem. We're adding these three numbers together, okay? Draw your circles, find your answer. Pause the video. When you're done, hit play. Okay, if you're watching this, that means you solved this on your own and are ready to check your work. You should have had eight plus seven plus one equals. Now, there wasn't a whole lot of room, so we had to either write small or use a scrap paper. So we had eight and then seven and then one. So eight plus seven plus one. Well, I know seven plus one is eight and eight and eight is 16. Okay. Or I could have counted all my circles to find my answer. So there are 16 books. All right, boys and girls, we are going to skip this bottom one. So it's more of the same and turn our page. If you need to pause, if you didn't finish the other, then you can pause, keep working what you need. All right, let's look at number six. Kevin has eight baseball cards. He buys two more baseball cards. His friend gives him five baseball cards. How many baseball cards does he have? All right, so we have to solve and we have to draw or write to show our work. Okay, so we have a choice. We can draw a picture or we can put things together. 
to find our answer. So let's make our plus problem. He has eight plus two plus five. So we have to write it in by ourselves. They don't give us blanks for it. Okay, how about we draw a picture to solve? So I have eight, so I'm gonna make eight circles first. Then I'm gonna make two more circles, right, for two. And then I make five more circles. Take your time, make sure you go back, you check, do you have eight, two, and five? Well, we need to find out how many does he have all together. So we're gonna count all of our circles. All right, did you get 15? Very good, if you have 15, that means that you are correct. Eight plus two plus five equals 15. All right, now we have math on the spot. There are 14 pencils. Haley has six pencils. Mac has four pencils. Sid has some pencils. How many pencils does Sid have? Okay, well boys and girls, it tells us that there's 14 pencils all together. We know how many Haley has. We know how many Mac has. Now we need to figure out how many does Sid have. So let's start with what we know. We know that there's 14 pencils. So let's make 14 circles. All right, we have 14 pencils. Just go back, make sure you have 14, recount them. Okay. If you need to pause, if you're still making your circles, you can. If not, I'm going to keep going, okay? Now that we have 14 circles made, right, for our 14 pencils, we know that Haley has six pencils. So let's color in six of these for Haley. One, number, quick shade. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six for Haley. As we know, Haley has six of those, so those belong to Haley. Mac has four pencils, so let's color four of them in for Mac. I'll put a circle around them because those are Mac's pencils. So we have six pencils for Haley, four pencils for Mac. Now it says Sid has some pencils. How many are left that Sid has? Sid has four pencils, okay? So what we did was we showed our pencils and then we divided them up. We showed Haley's pencils, we put hers in a group, we put Max in a group, and then what was left was what Sid had. Okay, so if you wanna watch the video on that, you can. All right, if you need to pause, you can. We're gonna look at number eight. 12 marbles are in a bag. Shelly takes three marbles. Dan puts in four. How many marbles are in the bag now? So let's draw a picture to help us solve this. We're gonna start off with 12 marbles. So let's make our 12 circles. Okay, do you have 12 circles? Make sure you check and make sure that you have 12. Shelly takes three marbles. So Shelly's gonna take three of those marbles out of the bag. So if she's taking them out, are we getting some or are we losing some? We're losing some. We're gonna lose three marbles because she's taking them out. 
So I put a cross out through three of them because we're losing three. But then we're not finished yet. Dan puts in four. So if he's putting in four, that means we're gonna get four. So we've gotta show that by drawing four circles because Dan puts four in. How many marbles are in the bag now? So we started with 12. Shelly took out three, but Dan gave us four more. How many are still in there? So let's count the marbles that are still there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there are thirteen marbles in the bag. All right. Our last problem. Eric has four pencils. Sandy gives Eric three pencils, so he has four, he gets three more. Tracy gives Eric five more pencils. How many pencils does Eric have in all? All right, boys and girls, so let's look at this. We need to make a plus problem, don't we? We're gonna make four plus three plus five equals. We can draw a picture to solve if we want. Okay, so I'm gonna have you pause the video, solve this problem, figure out how many does he have. Hit play when you're ready. All right, my first graders, if you're hitting play, that means you've solved this problem. All right, here's how we solve it. We had four plus three plus five. So if we counted them all together, we had 12. Did you get 12? So four plus three plus five equals 12. All right, my first graders, you're gonna work on your personal math trainer, adding three numbers together. You might wanna scrap paper so you can make your circles on it while you work. 